Hi everyone, it's MJ and in this video I want to talk about the Enterprise Risk Management Exam because there is an offering on ActuaTech and for those of you who don't know what ActuaTech is, it is the home of actuarial technology. It's a great website. I'm going to put a link in the description below. Um, I've written a whole bunch of articles on it. Uh, we're going to be having a podcast on it. But what we've also got is a whole bunch of educational courses. And the one that I want to talk about today is the one on enterprise risk management. And you can see on the right side what the curriculum entails. There's an introduction, there's a how to study, there's a case study, there's how to answer exam questions, and there's a past paper walkthrough. So the introduction, I mean, it focuses very much on you know what exactly is risk, what's the purpose of the subject, and the whole enterprise risk management framework. The second section, what we've done is we've created an exam model where we've gone through all the past papers and we've looked at the syllabus objectives and we've kind of mapped the two together. And what this has done is it's shown us which syllabus objectives are most likely to come up in the exam. And this should be a really cool study tool so that you know, okay, if I'm limited for time, this is where I want to focus my studying. But like I say, we also talk about this whole enterprise risk management framework in a lot of detail. And what I do in the third section is give a case study on a non-financial organization. This is just something that the examiners love to do is you know, quiz you on a different type of enterprise, not necessarily a financial enterprise. So we go through a church and we look at the various functions of a church, let's say worship, which is very similar to like a rock concert in some of these big churches. And we go through all the various steps on how to identify risk, how to measure risk, how to monitor risk. I mean, we go through it in a lot of detail. This is actually the bulk of the course is this case study where we go into a lot of detail. And I mean, this is just what we're talking about around four risks. Of course, we also always want to mention the upside, and we talk a little bit about how Hillsong United have taken their worship to a whole new level. And this is kind of the whole thing with ERM, is you want to look at the downside and upside potential. But in the next section, what we've done is we've created a bit of a mock exam, and then I've provided not just a memo with the answers, but also a little bit of the exam process that I go through. So I write down what is my initial thoughts when reading the question, you know, how do I structure the brainstorming, and then how do I go on to plan my answer. And then the final section is one that you're going to be more familiar with. This is where I take an actual exam question and I go through it step by step. So the first video, we're just reading through, you know, highlighting what are the big points. Then in the second video, we actually go through line by line the calculations, explaining each step along the way. And we do this for each of the questions in this past papers uh, section five. I think that's the one that we've got here. So yeah, so it's, it's a really beneficial course. It's going to help you a lot if you are studying for ERM. ERM is not, I mean, it's not in a lot of universities. So we are trying to be, uh, you know, provide some sort of formal studying to help you along with this exam. So this is just a very brief introduction. Like I said, we give a, an introduction on what the ERM framework's about. We have this exam model which shows which syllabus objectives are so important. We give a case study on a non-financial organization and we give you a lot of help when it comes to answering exam questions. So go check it out and yeah, make sure that you go and subscribe to the Actual Tech newsletter and I'm going to put a whole bunch of other links in the description below. But anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.